and uh, today we're going to talk about the taxonomies in WordPress. Uh, this is a video playlist that I've been wanting to make for long and I've been getting a lot of requests uh, from my subscribers as well. Uh, so finally I've got the time to make it as I was busy with uh, work. So let's go ahead and uh, talk about it. Uh, in fact, this is a very important topic in WordPress taxonomies because uh, you can make your own custom taxonomies and do all sort of things in uh, WordPress. So you need to know them in and out uh, to be able to perform uh, you know, custom search or create filters uh, and display the posts and uh, or ads etc. Uh, depending on uh, the requirements that you have for your project or theme. Okay, so let's begin then. So what is the taxonomy? Uh, well, taxonomy in WordPress is a classification or grouping of data. Uh, you can consider that that it's a group of data or classification of uh, data uh, which could be post or custom post type together. Uh, there are two different types of taxonomies. One is category and tax. A lot of people get confused between you know what is category, what is tag and what is taxonomy. So uh, in this video you're going to learn everything about it and all of your doubts are going to be cleared. It's all about taxonomies, categories, tags, custom taxonomy, custom category and tax and things like that. Okay, so taxonomy is nothing but uh, category and tax. Okay, so category and tax together are called custom taxonomies. Okay, so category and tax are default uh, taxonomies built in WordPress. You can also create your own custom taxonomy. Uh, now, when you create your own taxo uh, custom taxonomy, how would you know whether it's a category or tag? Well, it's very simple. Um, if your taxonomy has got um, a parent it's hierarchical uh, then it's going to be category and if it doesn't have any parent it's non hierarchical then it's going to be tag that's how simple it is okay so custom taxonomies can either be category custom taxonomy if they have parent and tag custom taxonomy if they don't okay now what is a term now, a lot of people get confused between what is taxonomy what is category what is tag what is term okay so let's talk about what is term basically okay so term refers to the items inside a taxonomy. So if I had to show you, um, so let's say this is the default custom categories. And let's say you have different types of uh, items over here. Uh, so these items are basically the terms over here uh, inside of the category, inside of the taxonomy. Okay, so term refers to the items inside a taxonomy. For example, a website has category of books. Uh, politics and blogging in it while category itself is a taxonomy the items inside it are called terms okay so just to do a recap taxonomy is basically a classification or grouping of data which could be post and custom post type together uh, and there are two types of taxonomies one is category and second is tags the difference between category and tags is that category has parents uh, can have parents it can be hierarchical a parent and children relationship basically uh, while tags don't have any parents okay you can create your own custom taxonomy which could be uh, further you know classified into a category custom taxonomy or a tag custom taxonomy and i will explain to you how you can differentiate between them term basically are, are the items inside of the taxonomy okay so is category a taxonomy yes it is is tag a taxonomy yes it is is the items inside of the, it uh, the taxonomy or taxonomy no of course they are not their terms okay what is the difference between category and tax while well, you create register uh, a new taxonomy but you would know whether it's a category uh, so the major difference between category and tag is the category has parents and tags don't so I think I've already explained that to you okay uh, perfect uh, so if you set hierarchical is equal to true uh, which is false by default then it is a category because it can have parents and if you set the hierarchical is equal to false, by, which is false by default, then it is a tag while registering a custom taxonomy. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, before we actually go ahead and uh, register any custom taxonomy, we won't need to register the custom post type as well. Okay. So as you already know, this is a default post type, which is post, right? Uh, and um, this is your category and tax which is our which are the uh, default category and tax taxonomies okay and if you want to create a new post type let's say uh, i want to sell some products uh, like t-shirts or, or shirts um, and they could be of different 
sizes and you know colors and um, uh, different varieties etc and obviously we have to classify that data because tomorrow if uh, a consumer comes to my site and they want to they are looking for a specifically an excel size uh, specifically in black color and specifically if they are looking for a certain price uh, they should be able to divide those uh, uh, you know items uh, and this sorry they should be able to filter those items based on the specifications they need so we need to classify that data uh, in order for us to create any filter based on that so you know if you go onto an Amazon website let's say oh, this is one <clears throat> if you go over here you can see shop by category yeah yeah men's and then you have t-shirts shirts yeah you can see that there are different categories for them you can see on the left hand side there are different filters obviously if I want a casual shirt I can click on the casual shirts and I'll get all the list of casual shirt then I want to go ahead and classify it further. I want only the Excel sizes. Then I'll have all the Excel sizes over here. Uh, then in the case, if I want probably long sleeves, I can click on the uh, long sleeves. I will only get the uh, shirts uh, with long sleeves. So these are basically classification of the data. You know, I have certain products. They have different, uh, you know, different uh, taxonomies available like the sizes. They are, they are classified based on different taxonomies like sizes and uh, color and you know uh, different things um, so basically uh, that's why we need taxonomies okay so let's say we want to create a product uh, which is another post type and that would have a different specification uh, taxonomies like the color and the size and uh, you know uh, material and things like that okay so in order for us to create a custom taxonomy uh, let's first create a custom post type okay in order for us to do that um, we can just go on this site wphasty.com tools wordpress.custompostab generator I'll leave the link uh, in the video below so you can always check that okay and uh, you can actually um, write whatever the name is going to be so let's say we'll put the singular name let's say we'll put the product as singular name and then uh, you need to write a plural name so all this is doing is basically filling and you know filling these information for you on behalf of you so it makes it easier and cleaner so in order for you to uh, register any custom post type you will do add action which is a and you you will hook your custom function which is create product cpt which is your you know custom function and then you will hook it to the init hook okay i'll show that to you in a moment once it's done and then inside of the custom function you're going to uh, pass in the argument inside of a register post type function uh, which will actually go ahead and create the custom taxonomy for uh, sorry custom post type for you so let's mention the description so let's say um, these are different products okay you also need to write text domain so what I've done is um, I've created a plugin basically uh, and inside of this plugin I have given it um, a domain which is taxonomy widget because we want to create a widget and I'm gonna put the same uh, text domain but if you wanna work it for your theme you can always write your themes text domain do you want it to be hierarchical? Let's say no, I don't want it to be hierarchical. Exclude from search? No, I want to include from search. Uh, publicly queryable? Yes. Has archive? Yes. Public? Show Show in menu? Do you want to show it in the menu? Uh, which is basically here. Uh, yes or no? So you can put yes. Show in add. A menu basically, you know, on the, you have a menu over here in your site. So you want to show it in the menu? Yes. Uh, show in the menu admin bar? So if you want to show it in the admin bar, which is this admin bar, then yes. Uh, can export, show in nav menu, show in REST API. So we're putting all of that to yes. Capability, do you want it to be like post or page? So this is going to be post. Uh, language, English, I want to keep it to English. Then do you want it to have title? Yes, I want to have title. I want to have revision. I want to have page attributes. Uh, I want to author. And then I want post format excerpt on comments custom fields feature image and trackbacks so you can select based on your needs and what icon do you want out of these so what icons when it gets displayed over here 
uh, over here then what icon do you want out of those do you want the same icon do you want this icon so you can go ahead and select that so let's say I want this icon okay and all you have to do is just click on the copy uh, clipboard and it will be copied and just you can just go to your functions.php and you can just paste that code there so what I've done is I have gone ahead and created a plugin inside of my um, WordPress plugin directory my plugin name is filter taxonomy widget I've created a this file and I'm you know usually what you write in your plugin header I've, I've done that and then I've included my custom functions.php file and inside of that I'm writing all of this so you've got the name product singular name menu name admin bar archives all of these values these are basically the labels which have been filled and do you want the featured image you want to set the featured image all of that information is there so if you if you scroll down um, in fact uh, this function register post type is the one responsible for for creating this particular post type and the post type will be product and we are calling this function inside of a custom function and we are defining this custom function we are hooking it to in hit in it hook uh, this is the priority basically I don't want to set any priority by default I think it's 10 okay and then we're passing the arguments arguments have all of these information uh, you know the, uh, all of these uh, different uh, properties and, and values basically and labels will be equal to label and this is the label and this got also a value so depending on what you want in your custom post type you would, can go ahead and define it there if you refresh the page sure enough you can see that now we've got a product created I have all product tab there which is similar to all post then I have the add new which is similar to add new in post so if you click on add new you can go ahead and create a new product uh, it will have excerpt okay I, I need to ensure I don't take the excerpt because I don't need the excerpt I need the full content so I'll uncheck the excerpt I'll go ahead and copy that once again I'll paste it now if I go ahead and refresh it uh, okay there's something missing as well just one moment okay I need to check the editor content to be able to put the content okay again I'm gonna do that paste it go back refresh the page and sure enough I've got the post editor as well so I've got the format got the set featured image custom fields trackbacks and things like that okay great all right so I'll see you in the next video I don't want to make this video too long in the next video we're going to learn how to create the custom taxonomies uh, we've learned how to create the custom post types we'll learn the, how to create the custom taxonomy in the next video okay See you guys. Bye-bye.